Hi there, I'm Dr. Jim. Welcome to another CBD Minute. I have something quite interesting to share with you. Um, and I've known about this fellow for some time. I've been studying medical cannabis and CBD now Ooh, for five or six years, maybe a little longer. But there's a fellow, actually a physician, and his name is William Brooke O'Shaughnessy. And as you would guess, he's from Ireland. Um, if you're interested in CBD and its history in the Western Hemisphere, we really have to give a lot of credit to William Brooke O'Shaughnessy because he introduced cannabis and hemp from India, where it was being used medicinally. He was prescribing it there and he brought it to the United States. Not only did he discover its medical uses while he was working specifically in a hospital in Calcutta, India, but he invented a treatment for cholera and made significant advances. This guy was a genius in telegraphy, electricity, and in underwater engineering. I don't know how you do that, but when he was only 24 years of age, he graduated from the University of Edinburgh, or Edinburgh, depending upon how you like to pronounce it, in Scotland. And he set off to become a medical assistant of surgery in the East India Company. While there, he wrote a paper and he read it to a group of students and scholars who were treating cholera during the outbreak. There was a massive cholera outbreak in Europe at this time. So he was an exciting young doctor and greatly enthused his students to follow his lead using cannabis and hemp as medicine. Um, he may be most known for his work with medical cannabis at Calcutta Hospital in India. This is where he experimented with patients, students, dogs, and even fish and vultures. I don't know why. Uh, he once gave a mid-sized dog a bit of cannabis. <laughs> and then he sat back and he watched the dog become sleepy. And then he woke up. And then he started wagging his tail. And then he overate his food. He staggered around the room and he went back to sleep. <laughs> so he, was, he had to be a fun guy. Um, but he also treated patients who had rheumatism which is, as you know, a condition uh, causing inflammation and pain in the joints, the muscles, and surrounding soft tissue. Um, his limbs, the patient, who were once rigid and inflexible became easy to move while he said he felt rather relaxed. He's probably one of the first physicians to understand that cannabis cured nothing but it helped to manage a lot of symptoms. And that's what we say today about CBD. CBD is not a cure-all, um, but it, it, it can help manage certain symptoms. It can promote better quality of living. So with this particular patient who had rheumatism, it helped to manage his symptoms, it reduced his pain, it reduced stress, and it really brought some quality of living back. And this was quite a while ago. O'Shaughnessy was also known um, for making his own handmade extracts, which he generously provided to his patients. He once treated an infant. Now this is interesting. Back then it wasn't as controversial, but look what medical cannabis is being used for now with young children, seizure disorder and, um, and epilepsy, right? So he once treated an infant with seizures and he found that medical cannabis actually reduced frequency and intensity of the seizures. And that's what we know now. Um, he warned his fellow physicians to start with low doses and to, to not induce hemp inebriation is what he called it. And I've worked with psychiatrists for years and when they're prescribing, they always suggest start low and go slow. He's known for stating, quote, while clinical studies have led me to believe that in hemp, the profession has gained an anti-convulsant remedy of the greatest value, 
end of quote. He was right then, and physicians today recommend hemp for seizure disorder and epilepsy. So his research on medical hemp and physical disorders was so influential between 1839 and 1900 that over 100 articles appeared in scientific journals describing the cannabinoids and their medical benefits. So he was a very influential early doctor in the world of hemp and cannabis. As research continued, so did the use of hemp as medicine in Europe and in the United States. Without William Brooke O'Shaughnessy, we may not have CBD today. So thank you, good doctor. And this has been another CBD Minute. My name's Dr. Jim. Keep coming back for more.